I'm Ed Hull, I'm the owner of Optimal Health and Fitness and I want to talk to you today about the silver bullet. That's right, the people out there who are looking for that silver bullet, that magic pill that's going to cure their health and fitness, that's going to help them drop 10, 20 pounds, give them more energy, help them feel better and cure all their goals. I've been working in the fitness industry for like, since I was 17, it's a long time, I'm 34 now and in that time, I hate to tell you guys, I have never found such a thing. If I did, I promise you, I would have bought it. I would not be training people for a living. I would be selling this silver bullet to people because I'd be making an absolute fortune from it. When we're looking for these like silver bullets, right? I want you to think of it this way. If you, your child or you have a child that needed to lose some weight, call it 10 pounds, 15 pounds or something. Would you say to that child, what you need to do is start injecting yourself with uh, this because it's going to help you lose weight or what you need to do is start taking this supplement because it's going to help you lose weight or what you need to do is just eat these bars or just have these shakes for every day because they're going to help you move weight you wouldn't say that you care about your child too much to do that you love them too much as a father of three there's no way i give my child that advice what you'd say is very kindly very gently in a supporting encouraging way what we need to do is we need to change the food you're eating so we're eating healthier we're eating a little bit less and we're making better choices with what foods you're having probably take a bit of drink out your diet and then we need to do a bit more exercise now that doesn't mean you get them lifting massive weights and jumping around and running for miles but you just try and get it moving more. Why would you give that advice to your child and then you wouldn't listen to it for yourself and take it for yourself? So stop trying to find that silver bullet, guys. It isn't, it doesn't exist. It is not out there. We're really looking to change your health and fitness and make long-term successful changes with your life. There are five things that I think you need to do and prioritize. One is you need to get clarity about your, what you're doing. You need to educate yourself or be educated so you know what you need to do to get the success you need from your diet and training. But two, you need structure. We're all busy, guys. Everyone's busy. Life these days, it gets busier and busier and busier. But even the busiest people in the world, the President of the United States, the Prime Minister, the Pope, they've all got time to train. They've all got time to look at their diet. Okay, So if they can do it, you can do it too. We just need to put the right structure in place for you to be able to successfully achieve that. Thirdly, you need accountability. It's too hard to do on your own, guys. So whether it's a coach, whether it's your, your wife, a group of friends, some peers in a like-minded group, you need accountability so that you can be helped out when times get tough because this isn't gonna take a week. This is gonna take a long period of time for you to get real goals that you want. So you need that someone to be able to lean on when times get tough. Number four is skin in the game, guys. When you invest into yourself and into your health, there's nothing like getting the results than when you invest in something. Trust me, I've had to invest into my business and it makes you work your butt off because you want payback on your investment, guys. So when you invest into yourself and when you back yourself to achieve something, that is when I see my clients get the best results and I'm sure you'll see yourself get the best results as well. And then last but by no means least, people, the fifth secret, guys, is grit. A bit of grit, a bit of determination. Yes, training is tough. Yes, train, changing your diet is tough. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you it's not. But all you need to do is have that bit, have that bit of grit, have that bit of determination, have those goals in sight, and you can achieve anything. Anyone can do this. It's just having those bits in place so that you really can get the success that you want out of your diet, out of your training, out of your lifestyle, and still be able to do the things you love, but be fit and healthy, have energy, and enjoy yourself.